I was down again to my lowest of lows and nobody that I confided in cared what I was going through. You know, it was in depression. I tried to commit suicide. I was trying to battle everything on my own. I joined the Navy in 2003. That was four best years of my life. During my Navy years, I had a few challenges through partners, ex-partners, with the physical, mental and emotional abuse. Um, coming through those challenges, um, I hit rock bottom. I was depressed, suicidal, um, not having any place to go, to sleep, to feel safe. In February of 2022, um, there was a few nights that I had spent underneath a bridge. My ex had kicked me out of the house and I could, there had nowhere else to go. So I slept underneath her with just my jacket and you know, a pair of pants and that was it. Thank God it was summer. If it was winter, I don't think I would have woken up. And then I come across a message board at the local shops, advertising, um, counselling for veterans and their families, and that was open arms. And the person who answered the phone was like a godsend. She was like a little angel to me. Having open arms in my life, when I was at my most vulnerable, was the most relief that I've had. Having them helping me rebuild it just by, you know, the basics of starting the counselling, helping me with, you know, basically getting me to be back to being a human out of my depressional state and giving me reasons to live. Having them ready to ra raise me back up to my feet was the first thing I needed to get back on track, to build my life back up. Baby step after baby step. For all those veterans out there, like me, who are struggling with homelessness, home life, stresses, even if you think it's only minor, seek help. Open arms are always going to be there for just a lending ear or a helping hand.